11-25, August 29th, um, 2020. Did I just say 2020? That's actually deep. I woke up not too long ago. I've really been enjoying my slow mornings. And um, I took some time to meditate, to journal. I've started reading my book in the morning because sometimes at night I find that I get distracted depending on how the day went. Excuse me. So I just decided that if I get to read at night, great. But for sure, I need to read during the day. You know what I mean? So that way that, you know, if I don't read, blah, blah. Anyway, I say all of this to say I read a chapter and now I'm getting ready to go pick out what I'm going to wear. I'm going to this Michael Jackson experience thing that I was invited to. Um, I'm going to bring my camera um, just in case like there's anything to capture. It is on the strip so I really don't know what to expect because the traffic over there I've heard has just really become ridic. So I'm not going to time it the way that I usually would. So I just really need to, I'm just going to do a little light makeup. A dress seems like the common sense thing to do because it is hot outside and it's just easier but then also i kind of feel like i want two pieces something free and loose so we'll just have to figure it out okay let's get up <sighs> all right this is the fit it's giving this world doesn't deserve me so initially i was gonna go with something more sensual ethereal that's how the skirt kind of got out of the way because it has that gold detail but then it very quickly turned into like a relaxed look i decided to do tennis shoes because i don't know how much standing is gonna go on as much as i like this window and i like that it opens up the space it doesn't do what it needs to do as far as like showing my outfits so i think i'm gonna have to get another one in that room in my office because my room is dark, as y'all know. Like, let me show y'all what it looks like during the day. That's, this is dark. It's dark. I don't know, I'm still kind of figuring it out. That's kind of been my struggle with this particular unit, is that like, I love it, but sometimes the layout. You know what, what am I doing? Can I just like sit y'all down and show y'all this way too? Let me see if you can see the vision. Okay. This is just gonna have to do. Wait, didn't I already find a spot in the office for this? I just, sometimes I wonder where my memory goes. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> there you go. All right, let's go see Michael. Well, let's not see Michael because that means that we're not, we're no longer in this realm. <laughs> the only thing that would really make this outfit pop is like if my nails were done, but I'm trying to do my hair. This is what I've kind of waited on doing my nails again. But I do have these rings on, okay, period. Okay, let's go for real this time. So apparently, I was supposed to be there to check in at 12.30. Well, so 12.30 is when like the priority check-in closes and I'm priority. I didn't realize that. I thought 12.30 was when it opens. But luckily, it says I'm 10 minutes away and I'll be there at 12.15. So once I park and go up there, it should be around 12.30, so 12.20, somewhere around there. Traffic is super light, so thank heavens for that. Anyway, let me focus on the road and I'll see you guys when I get there. A bunch of people are here for a convention, but what's new? So I almost like got in the um, in the way of like following them or whatever, but I'm glad I didn't do that. But geez, I'm almost there. I have six minutes, guys. OMG. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make it though. Ooh, wish me luck. I'm here. I made it. Yay! Hi, Michael. Good. You 
so wonderful A star could never shine as bright as you mm. Shine as bright as you Even the dark they still see light Even the birds still sing at night Every word just comes out right When I'm with you, with you I feel so lucky I met you And I still Can't believe that I get to see those eyes from more than tonight I swear you must have felt from the sky And I feel So the event was so kind of fun As y'all saw, I made a friend because that's what I'm good at <laughs> And um, the reason that we actually clicked was because she lives in Atlanta And she's entrepreneurial She DJs and she used to work as a flight attendant So... I was actually talking to her about a residency that I almost got here and like we just got to kind of chopping it up and talking about how different things could be. She could possibly get a residency here but again because she flies you know we just were kind of talking about how she would go around with that. But the event was very nice. It was super interactive. It was something to do. Actually it didn't last as long as I thought it was. That's not a bad thing. It just gives me the day to go do other things I'm now wondering if I actually should go do an apartment tour um, again it's been a while since I've done that but the reason is that Vegas really does not have any properties that's like luxurious and that I feel like is even worth the drive and all of these things so I do need to sort some things out at the house so I think I'll go home regroup and then if I decided to maybe make an appointment somewhere going home a lot of times means I'm not coming back out but let's just see how I'm feeling people call me and don't talk and they think that I'm gonna talk to them like I'm gonna call them back you not you set yourself up ain't no way back to my TikTok sorry also it was eight months I don't think that that if that is love bombing someone's not good at it your boyfriend cheating with your sister and friend yeah that uh, that ain't happening to me oh no Mm -mm. The closest I have come to that has been gotten rid of. So ain't nobody for the cheat on me with nobody's nobody. So no, no. Mm -mm. Sorry, TikTok. Nice try, though. All right, so it's 6 o'clock and it's time for me to go undress, take a shower, because I am breaking my fast in approximately an hour. So I usually like to pray beforehand and um do all of that so i managed to film all my videos i did an upload and so i'm just gonna let the comments roll in or not and um yeah like i said i'm gonna go do my nighttime routine my settling routine and then i'm just gonna eat and watch something i've been really comfort showing with um seinfeld but i'm gonna attempt to watch something different today so See you soon, when I'm nice and comfy. And my man, thank you to my man. The last time I made this, I didn't put enough, um, I didn't put enough um, crab. So this time I OD'd. That's not really a bad place to be in. And I found a show, by the way. I'm going to show it to you guys in just a second. I hope it's good because if it's not, baby, I'm going to go right back to my little Seinfeld and not even feel bad about it because, period. And my mother, thank you to my mother. Let's heat it up. <laughs> it's nice and steamy. 
time to eat. Arming, stay. Thursday, August 31st, 3.58 p.m. <laughs> I'm still in my robe because per usual had a late start. I only had enough time for my morning routine and I hopped on a call right away and I've been on that call until just now. So it's probably been like four hours, give or take. So I meant to get on the camera yesterday. I had quite a few things to do, but I ended up binging this Netflix show. It's called Who is Erin Carter? And it was actually a really good one. I didn't finish the last two episodes though because she was kind of getting on my nerves. The character was getting very annoying. But yesterday was just hella chaotic, y'all. Like I woke up late. I had grocery delivery at like 10.30. I don't know if it's just that like I really want to be a morning person or I thought that would motivate me to get up a little earlier, but I set it up for 10.30, they dropped it off, and I didn't get up until like 12.30. So that was like two hours that it was just sitting out in the sun. That's definitely one of the cons of living in a place that's more outdoor versus indoor. I had fruit, I had OJ. I'll insert in here the few items that I got, but from waking up to go grab my groceries, hopping on a phone call, I had two meetings back to back to back. I decided to do my hair, binge that show. By the time I knew it was like 8 p.m., I was like, yeah, there's no point vlogging now. Jesus. I was like, yeah, there's no point vlogging now. <laughs> So now it's a new day. I'm three hours away from breaking my fast. So I'm going to try to do as much as I possibly can work wise. And then I have a few deadlines that I need to nip in the bud. I would also like to move the area rug from my living room into my bedroom. And then I'm just going to order a whole nother one because the way it keeps curling up and I know I can get like tape for it. But I just, I can't be bothered. I think I'm just gonna try something that's not as fluffy and see if that does a difference. And then if I do need to get tape for that, I will. As of now, those are the two things I need to knock out. Is my pending items and that carpet. So, let's get to work. Okay, I think I have, en I have enough patience for... Lord, the way I'm so done, I'm done with the show. It's white, go with Harper, you know, you can see the parents. That's not a bad idea, right? It'll be good for you. Go, give it your you. So this is what I was talking about earlier. Y'all see this? Yeah, so I'm just gonna, we just gotta get rid of that. I can't take that anymore. I like the color scheme. The color scheme matches, but that, yeah, mm-mm. She'd have been picked up within weeks trying to spend it. And you know she wouldn't have kept my name up. I was scared. You were scared. You fucking killed her. She tried to kill me first. You broke her heart. She said she never liked me. She fucking loved you. You don't move. Why haven't you done anything with this? Could have let the police, me and Harper. Look, Lena, I know she's your daughter, but I love her more than anything. What? Wow. Oh my god, the way she just shot her. I'm kind of 
show is actually too much. It's actually too much. So I finished the show and it was not that bad. I think I just needed a breather. Sometimes when something is a little annoying or intense, you just need to remove yourself from the situation. It's currently 6.43. I break my fast probably in another 30 minutes or so. But I did manage to put the rug under my bed. That felt like a workout. Let me show y'all. But it looks okay. I feel like I might want it a little bit further in just for the sake of like if I get up having something cushiony here also because of my door you know it would be nice to not have that but other than that it's not bad looking in this room i've had like two or three variations of pretty much the same um rug it seems so that's neither here nor there but yeah it was tough if i need to pull it any further in i would need assistance for sure um, but my sister plans on coming like um, every quarter, so maybe the next time she comes. But let me share with you guys some of the things I do plan on doing that are still kind of like a to-do for me. You can't see them, but there are little wrinkles here and there on the um, curtains. I want to get a bench or like a stool rather for right in there so that when I'm shaving my legs i have something like an elevation to place it on thinking of a towel warmer for this little area because this is just a transitional unit i'm trying not to go full all out because there's things and ideas that i've thought about but i don't want to do too much because as far as i'm concerned in june i'll be out of here into a new home so but i also don't want to make the same mistake that i made in my last apartment where i just waited forever to fully decorate because i thought i was leaving but this one is it would be tough. Like I'm 99.99999% certain that I most likely will not be renewing. Oh, one last thing. I have never really been a fan of these things here. That's part of why I took the rug out because I may not get an area rug. I know that sounds crazy, but I may not. I wanted to make room for this because basically what I'm gonna do is take these little uh, vertical blinds out, put them underneath here, like just light them flat and install curtains but it'll make more sense when i do it but yeah i just can't I feel like those blinds give like ancient like i don't know why builders are still using that like it's definitely like a very dated decor option in my personal opinion so i'm definitely gonna get rid of it and put some um curtains in there but they're gonna be like sheer and they'll be like alternating but you guys will see i'm gonna put the inspo right here so you guys can see what i'm talking about but yeah we're gonna get it together but yeah, let's take this trash out though. Stinky, stinky. All right. Whew. I'm really feeling like sushi because I've not had sushi in a long time. Yesterday I was craving like Mexican, like authentic Mexican. Then I flipped into like Chipotle. But by the time I was doing my hair and everything, I was just like, yeah, I think I'll just eat what I have at home. It's just been weird because like I haven't been able to exercise as much. 
with my fasting but today is my very last day so i'm looking forward to going back to the gym tomorrow the steam room was being worked on where i live and they finally fixed it so looking forward to that but yeah so i think what i think that's what i need to do i need to decide on if i want to go somewhere to eat but i think i'll do that tomorrow today for sure i know i want to go get boba but then i don't know what i'm having with the boba so i guess i'll figure it out in 30 minutes so I just got to phone my sister and she's advising that, well, she's just not crazy about rug and neither am I. Like, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. And I feel like it takes away from like the clean look. And this happened to me in my other apartment. So she initially said, put it in the office, which I'm not against. However, it's too big of a size for that room. So I'm gonna list it tomorrow and then hope somebody picks it up. That's what I'm gonna do. Cause yeah, I just need to sell it. Maybe something's wrong with me or maybe it's because I have carpet here versus wood floors as usual. But I'm really, really liking that plain feel. I feel like sometimes the carpet does too much. And like it needs to add to the space. If it doesn't add to the space, then it's not necessary. I might actually leave it as is, believe it or not. Like I know that for some people that means it's not warm, that means it's giving Airbnb, but I don't mind it. Like I personally don't mind that. <laughs> anyway, I ordered some sushi for pickup. So that's what I'm having for dinner. And I'm also gonna go get some boba. I hope this place is still open by the way. I hope it's not like eight, I hope it's like nine. Let me check. That would suck. Yes, it's still open. Okay, I ordered my pickup off for Uber Eats. So we're just gonna go get the boba and then by the time I pick that up, the sushi should be ready as well. So let's go. Let's set the mood. I've been wanting a different light. So let's see. Mm -mm. Let's go with money green, yep. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that looks good. It's Thai tea slush? Yeah. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, you too. I'm going to have to try that next time. Thank you. <laughs> okay, boba has been secured. As y'all heard me mention, I definitely think I'm going to be doing the Thai tea slush next time. Because I love Thai tea, but sometimes I'm not in the mood for like the iced drink. You know what I mean? But knowing that they can make it into a slush baby and she got a large too the cup looked so juicy but anyway this is my favorite drink that i always get it's the mango passion mm. it literally feels like this is gum out of my mouth it literally feels like fresh mango from an island being melted into your soul it's so good okay let's go get the sushi down ah. okay i'm home and i got my food I got a spicy salmon hand roll. This place that I went to, their specialty is black rice. So I got two separate ones. One is the kaboom and then the other one was like, I can't remember the name of it. I'll put it on the screen. And then my usual spicy edamame. So the boba is hiding in the back and I'm about to watch another show. Maybe I can start something else. I got a saucer for like the wasabi and stuff, but I may not even need it, but let's just see. It legit said it had, let me see how many episodes. I'll tell you in a second. But he had a bunch of them and I was like, dang, that'd keep me busy for a while. Cause a lot of times I do use TV as just background noise, but I feel like we only accept cash at this because I'm trying to learn Spanish. Oh my God. It's called Miss Adrenaline, a tale of twins. And it's basically about one of the twins getting murdered and the other one has to take identity in order to solve the murder. 65 episodes. Yeah, that's how many it was. That's a lot, huh? That's insane. Una serie de Netflix. Oh, it's Colombia. Mm. I always like it because they all have different dialects of Spanish. Mm -mm. Let me get a pillow for my bum. Yeah, that's much better. Mm. 
deporte de alto riesgo como uh -huh. este. ¿Usted sabe que sí es de alto riesgo? Claro que. Mami me explica, mi papá, para qué me llama si nunca tiene tiempo para hablar. Ay, amor, ya tú sabes cómo ser. Sí. Found myself smiling more The moment you leave I feel down again I talk to myself on the floor Just to feel less alone I swear that I'm trying my best You tell me the stress shouldn't be a friend I wonder where I'll end up next on the corner of hope So hold my hands out for a minute Okay, it's currently four o'clock and I'm driving to my mailbox now. Having your nails done is just elite. Like, it's just different. Like, it just gives you a different vibe. Like, I mean, like, even when you're talking, you know, like, it's still very weird, like, getting hungry and knowing that I can eat because I've kind of gotten used to fasting the last week or so. But it's so nice. The weather's in the 70s. It's 77 degrees outside. Like, I don't remember the last time I saw 70 outside, so the rain is definitely welcome. And like again, I just cannot wait for fall. It's gonna be lit. <laughs> Once I pick up this package, I'm probably gonna just get some boba, head back home, and then um, organize my socials because that's something I've been meaning to do for a month now and I just haven't gotten around to it. And then probably gonna eat the leftover sushi from yesterday because I definitely over ordered and I can definitely just get something else I feel like sushi is not one of those things that you want leftovers for and then if you're gonna have it you definitely want to have it like the very next day <gasps> I should have put it out already cuz like what I usually do I don't heat it up I just leave it out in the room to kind of thaw out a bit oh well I'm sure I'd be okay if it wasn't for the flash flood warning I actually woke up in the mood to go do an apartment tour today but Yo no sé. Thank you. You're welcome. Way I loathe people calling me hun, love, dear in a setting where I am the consumer. Like I can't. She's like, is that it, love? Okay, I'll have it for you. No, this is not even the South. This is Las Freaking Vegas. Who was hun? Like, babe, I'm your mother. You're my son. So I went from saying that I was gonna have sushi to deciding I wanted ghost pepper wings and Chinese because I am in my old neck of the woods and that was like obviously a staple when I lived over here. So I think it just felt right to do. So I secured the wings. I'm gonna go get, oh wait, I'm supposed to call it ahead of time. I'm tripping. I don't even know how late the office opens. I feel like I'm gonna end up doing a car mukbang. Like I don't feel like I have it in me to wait till I get home because like home is like 25 minutes away. So I'm just gonna eat in the car. Like I can already tell y'all now, I can feel it. I let you know when to let go You give a little love with a little sun Everywhere you go, everywhere you run in You never say a word even when it hurts Everywhere you go, everywhere you're smiling You make it look easy I don't understand How you can love me the way that I am I might be wondering why didn't I get the Thai slush that I told y'all about I was gonna try the next time it's because it's a different boba place and I'm just in this moment realizing how much of a foodie I am but technically I haven't had anything to eat today Jesus is Lord we are less than five minutes away from the office but I just hope that they're open and that I can run in there and get it because that would be a wasted trip and based on this drive today i definitely don't want to do it a second time i definitely don't want to do it a second time so i, I hope i can knock this out but you know it's serious i'm going to have my seat warmers on so i can keep the food warm because it's my first meal like i need to enjoy it hot 
Okay, let's go pick this thing up real quick. So the mail manager just left. They were like, he'll be back Tuesday. No shit. Like Monday's Labor Day. This is why I was trying to get here. We are gonna make the best of the situation, okay? Let me just pull let me pull in somewhere really quickly. At least we have a front row viewing of the sphere. So I'm positive that somewhere in this building or some different parking spot would have an un honest, un un unobstructed view, but we're just gonna have to do for now. Let's eat. Let's eat. Losing fast. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let me watch some YouTube. Find the purpose in it. Like it's fun in the moment, but it really is just so detrimental to the days after. And when I was pregnant, I realized like I actually have more fun when I'm not drinking. I try to cook as much as I can for dinner. See which meats I have in the fridge. So we have this truck eyes steak. I think I'm gonna try to find a beautiful thing. Why do I love this song so much? You can feel it in the street. <clears throat> Let me go inside cuz Voice ain't warmed up. We've been driving forever. Let me go utilize what's left of this day We got bills to pay. Uh oh, come on Come on poet. All right, let's go for real <laughs> 539 p.m. It's the 2nd of September. I had a late start to my day per usual, but I'm just over here editing now I had a video that I put up and it was a sponsorship and the brand came back and said that I needed to redo it. I don't think that's ever happened in Mary history, so that kind of takes me off a bit. And not because I have a problem with reviewing my work, but more so because like the reason the brand gave, I've been working with this brand for a while, so it was like, when y'all come up with that? But I didn't really feel like arguing, so I just finished filming that now. It is a three day weekend, so the vibes are different, even when I left outside earlier today. And it's been raining here, like pouring. It is flooded in a bunch of areas in Las Vegas. All I've been seeing is TikToks of people talking about how flooding it is. I'll try to put some in here so y'all can see. But it's just crazy because like, it's almost like I don't even live in the same city because I'm not having any of that experience at all. But again, it still means that like I could be surprised if I go to the wrong place. And so I think I'm gonna take Labor Day very easy. I'm gonna use this time to kind of revisit my goals because I have not done September, so I'm a little bit behind. 
So I'm going to edit this video really quickly. Then I'll jump on my September to-do list. And then that's it.